today we are discussing all things Eden Center Mall. Now we have a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. The Eden Center Mall is a custom POI that was created by two very talented builders. Captain Whisker Biscuits and Mental Ninja 33 are a husband and wife duo of excellent content creators for Seven Days to Die. It absolutely blows my mind the amount of hours and time they must have spent on creating the Eden Center Mall. This thing is absolutely massive. It is huge. So the first thing I want to do is say thank you to Captain Whisker Biscuits and Mental Ninja for creating this mall. It is absolutely awesome. And folks, today I'm going to give you a little tour of the mall itself. We're going to take a look at each of the levels. This is a multi-level mall, absolutely gigantic. And we're going to hit up just some basics regarding the Eden Center Mall. Now, what I'm showing you is just scratching the surface. There are so many secrets and tricks and hidden items in this place. It is insane. And I'm not giving away the secrets today, folks. We're just doing a basic tutorial, basic walkthrough of the mall, what you can expect to find inside the Eden Center Mall. But the, the tips and tricks and the secrets, those you are going to have to find out for yourself. I really want you folks to get into the mall and really explore. There is so so much to see, so much to find. This POI is absolutely awesome. Now, while we're doing the tour, so to speak, I do have zombie spawns turned off. So keep that in mind as I'm doing the little tour here. When you actually approach the mall with the zombie spawns on, you have to be very careful. I will show you, I will demonstrate later on in the video what you can expect. We'll actually gear up, turn God mode off, and actually walk into this bad boy like a regular player. And I will show you just the first few minutes exactly what to expect when approaching the Eden Center Mall because it is massive. It holds a ton of loot, but at the same time, is it is extremely dangerous and you will face a lot of zombie jerks. But let's start our tour on the exterior. Before you head into the mall, you definitely want to stop by Todd's Beet Farm, an excellent addition to the Eden Center Mall and a hilarious nod to a fellow content creator. But let's move on and let's take a look at the entrances to the mall. So in the front here, there are two main entrances, one here where the uh, bus has driven through the wall, and then one on the other side of the mall that enters into the working stiff tools. There is also a separate entrance on the side of the mall here for the working stiff tools. And then we come to the back of the mall here. We have the back mall entrance right here. And there is one more side entrance on the other side of the mall. But for our tour, we're actually going to enter through the main entrance right here, right next to the sign. One thing I will tell you, you got to keep in mind, this entrance does have uh, wood spikes in the front of it here. You try to go in through this little hole, you actually get uh, caught up by the lamppost here. So it's it's tough to, to enter in this way. Best to break down, break down the wood spikes here and, and you can walk right in. So keep that in mind if you use one of the main entrances here. But let's go inside and let's see what this mall has to offer. The first thing you'll see is the Bats and Bears store. Uh, I will tell you folks, be very careful with this store. If you use this entrance, especially early on in the game, be very, very careful. I will demonstrate why in a little bit here. But let's just actually take a look at the first floor and see the different stores available. So we have Spears. We have a crack a book that is absolutely chocked full of bookshelves, book boxes, book piles on the floors. They are scary scattered all over the place. Very, very nice, great place to get some useful knowledge. But let's keep on moving around here. We have our first little resting area here. So when you're getting out and about in the mall and you're tired, you're needing a break, go ahead and pop yourself into the resting area. Have a little rest. 
Now we come to our first uh, little kiosk station here. You've got the Brew Ha Ha and the Coffee Queen. Captain Whisker Biscuits and Mental Ninja did an excellent job uh, when they created their, their stores. You'll find that many of them are actually nods to other Seven Days content creators or friends that they have uh, they have met along the journey, which is something that is, it's it's admirable. It's, it's awesome. It is absolutely awesome, and I, I commend them for doing Doing that so that is uh that is pretty darn sweet all right then we come to the working stiff this is an absolutely huge section of the mall it's got the appliances the dream garage dream bathroom dream kitchen tools gigantic hardware store and you definitely want to ask them about their hardwood absolutely <laughs> And then, what would a hardware store be without a do-it-yourself section? And moving on, we have our mall cop section here. We have a couple of restrooms. The uh, female and male restrooms right here. And moving on along, we come to Mental Ninja's Sweaty Butts. Awesome little gym store here in the mall as well with an absolutely hilarious name. <laughs> they did such a good job with naming these POI or these uh these stores. It's it's hilarious. Got a little info booth here, which is cool. You have your seven-day photo center and radio shock. And we've made it back to the beginning of the mall. You'll also notice here in the center, we've got a nice open courtyard, complete with a little swimming pool fountain area here, as well as a look what looks like the remains of a previous survivor's horde base. Again, this is another uh, nod to an another content creator, but extremely well done. And I uh, hats off to the Whisker Biscuits for all the little nuances and, and touches that they've add to this, added to this POI. It's absolutely amazing. But now let's head up to floor two. All right, so on floor one, you come around this direction here and you come to the escalators. Use the escalators to go up. And the first store you come across is the Savage Country. That's one of the new POIs they added to Alpha 19. So it was really cool that the Whisker Biscuits added it to the uh, the updated version of the mall as well. And moving along, we have Sly Dog Sports Pub. We have Dr. Prepper coming soon. Rage Quit Games. Hummel Pete's Music. So again, not only are most of the stores here named after fellow content creators or, or just really cool real life people, they actually fit the model of a, of a mall. These are, these are all places or themes that you would find in a mall store. You've got your pub, you've got your prepper store, uh, you have your game store, you have a music store, all things that you would definitely find inside of a mall. Uh, and the, the names of these things are really, really cool. And they just get better, folks. We have barely scratched the surface here. So let's keep on moving along. Of course, you've got to have your shotgun messiah. And this is a massive, massive shotgun messiah. Over to the right here, you've got a whole bunch of uh, containers and boxes and crates and lootable areas as well. They've put in the new assets, which is cool. You've got uh, the lootable ammo display, lootable gun and equipment racks and armor racks. So those are all um, in included as well. And then in, in the front, you've got your office and another set of restrooms. On this side here, you've got your checkout station, some more lootable stuff. And through these doors here, you have your shooting range. Because what would a gun store be without a shooting range? Very, very nice. In the center here, we've got another little kiosk station here. It is Phones 1000. Pretty darn neat little kiosk POI here. I, I love that they added these, or that they included these in the mall design. Because every mall is littered with these little kiosk and, uh, stations and that kind of thing. All right, and then we've got a... A little jewelry kiosk here really cool there's the escalator to the next floor but we will keep on moving around we've got decor galore <laughs> go pierce yourself <laughs> oh, i'm telling you every single time i come into this place i just i chuckle so much at the names of these stores and then die less shoe source <laughs> that's pretty sweet too 
Another little resting area here with a couple more restrooms. Very nice. And continuing along, we've got lots of plots. A very, very appropriate store considering the theme of the game. Lots of plots. Excellent, excellent store. And then last but not least, we have Sylvia's Secrets. <laughs> oh boy. You gotta love it, guys. You have got to love it. This POI is absolutely awesome. So that is everything on the second floor. Now it's time to go up the escalator later here and we will check out floor number three. Now, before we move on, I wanna take this opportunity to remind you that if you find this video helpful and or enjoyable and would like to see more, join the Sav Nation by clicking that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. But now, let's get back to it. All right, here we are, floor number three. Let's take a walk around floor three and see the stores that we have available. Of course, we have Zed's Bath and Beyond, Caps, Stupid Birds, another nod to a, this is a, a nod to one of the more popular Seven Days creators, Kaled It. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's a plant store. <laughs> I just love the names of these stores so much. And then you've got Half Baked. Over here, we've got the House of a Thousand Dezes. I will not spoil this by going in there. That is an awesome store. I've been in it, in it before. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It's kind of like a, uh, a, a haunted house that you can find in some malls. Very appropriate for the game and a really cool, really cool store here in the, in the Eden Center Mall. And of course, we've got Captain Whiskey. Biscuits. He's got his own little pub, little restaurant pub area. Really, really darn cool. Now we come to the food court kind of section of the of the mall. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's like sim just a bunch of symbols for the name of the of the uh, of the restaurant. So <laughs> you all know if you've been to a mall, there are similar restaurant types in in malls all across the country, which is cool. Then next up, we've got the soggy taco. That actually makes me sad. <laughs> Tacos should never be soggy. And I think that, honestly, I think that's the whole point of this store. <laughs> and next up, we have American Wiener. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, one of my favorites. Got Crab Seafood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. The names. Oh, they make me chuckle every single time. And of course, you had to include Glock's World of Cornmeal because we all know how fond Glock is of cornmeal. <laughs> that is an awesome, awesome store to add to the mall. And we've got another uh, set of bathrooms here with the vending machines over there. And we have the Midnight Theater and Arcade. This is an awesome, awesome uh, section of the mall. It is absolutely huge, but the detail that they put into this thing, it's it's awesome. It is really cool. I mean, they added in uh, these the uh, posters. They've added in a little arcade games here. They've created these actual arcade machines, which is awesome. I'm not gonna go too deep into the into the um, theater though, because they're like I said, all the hit all the hidden stuff and tips and tricks and secrets. I want you guys to find out for yourself. But one thing I will show that I think is really cool. One thing that they added to the mall that I take my hat off and say very well done guys is you it's very apparent that some survivors actually came into the mall here and were trying to actually survive the zombie apocalypse you've got a little medical tent here there's uh, sandbags all over tents and and all that kind of stuff this has been uh, at one point was completely walled off with sandbags Looks like here is where the zombie jerks finally broke down, broke through, and actually uh, killed all the survivors that were in here. So that is one thing that is a very nice touch that they added to the mall. At one point, this was like a gathering point for survivors, a place where people came to try to survive. In a real emergency situation, malls are actually going to be big targets. People are gonna flock to the malls because they think they will be safe at a mall. Plus you can get a lot of stuff in a mall. So I think that was a very, very good touch that they added that, not, that this was one time like a big survivor's camp that unfortunately came to an end when the zombie jerk 
Mavericks broke through their defenses. Oh, and one thing I do want to mention, guys, these roll-up doors, they actually work. Captain Whisker Biscuits, the first time he released them all, he was annoyed because no one ever used. It used to be just the one roll-up door, so he added in another one. He was annoyed because nobody ever used the doors. They just walked, uh, walked through the open, open hole here. So do Captain Whisker Biscuits a favor, and when you come to this section, think about maybe using the doors. Open them on up, head on in. And if we continue moving around here, you've got another little survival tent. And you've got the barbed wire blocking off this area. And this is the uh, area that we came up to look at floor three. So that was floor three for you guys. Now we're heading up to the brand new addition to the mall. This is floor number four. So let's head up and see what floor four has to offer. And floor four starts off with a few more restaurants here. We've got Brain Freeze, very nice. The Burn Hole Chicken, <laughs> very nice. And we have Bernie's Burgers, very excellent. Again, the, the names they come up with for these stores, oh, they're so awesome. And here's another great example, Lukewarm Idea. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Well done. Well done. And we've got a new addition. The Poppin' Pills was added into this version of the mall. You go inside here and they've got lots of lootable containers in the Poppin' Pills. And then we've got another set of bathrooms. Female bathroom, male bathroom. And the next POI I'm actually going to skip. <laughs> I'm saving the best for last, baby. There is something to the left of me, but you can't see it quite yet. I'm holding it off. I'm holding off. Well, uh, I will reveal that here in just a little bit. But for now, let's move on, continue moving and exploring floor number four. Next up, we have Critter's Cards. Excellent. Most malls do have a card game shop, place where you go to get stuff like Magic the Gathering cards or Pokemon cards, all, all the different types of card games you can find. And another POI named after a member of the Biscuit Eaters community. Next up, we've got Conklin Candy. Candy. Every mall has to have a candy shop, definitely. And we have the Pancake Hop. <laughs> Very nice. We have the Cruel Night Optometry. This one is actually named after two different content creators for Seven Days to Die. Really cool dudes. And every mall needs a good eye place. Place to get glasses, contact lenses, all that good stuff. Very excellent addition to the mall. Next up, we've got Got Next Mac Repair. Because every, every mall needs a place where you can go to buy computer equipment or get your computers repaired. And then we have BNC Horde Base Supply. This thing is chocked full of stuff that you can use to build horde bases. However, be very careful when coming trying to get into this place. There are spikes everywhere. It can be a little challenging to get in, but once you do, this thing is just chock full of resources. Over here, we've got Midgard's Tea, a nice little store where you can get something refreshing to drink after spending all the time running around the mall. And then the big store on this level is Duralius and Associates. This was an awesome addition, and I absolutely love that they added it to the game. So, like I said before, Captain Whisker Biscuits and Mental Ninja 33, they decided to name a vast majority of the stores uh, after content creators or members of the community, the Seven Days to Die community. And one of the biggest is is Neebs Gaming. They they do some absolutely hilarious, hilarious work. The videos they, they put out are, are awesome. And they are a rather large channel, but at the same time, they have brought so much attention to Seven Days to Die that they definitely warrant um, having their own store and a big one here in the Eden Center Mall. Very, very nice. And what's cool is they've actually given each one of the guys their own separate little section. If you know Neebs Gaming, you'll get the joke. So we have uh, Neebs Potato Buckets. Very, very nice. And then inside we have Aptro's Animation. So Aptro gets his section. We've got Suits to Get Them Documents. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Gotta get them documents. <laughs> Beautiful. Keep moving along here. We've got How Much You Bench. How much you bench? <laughs> a very uh, nice nod to Thick, And then we have Happy Hymens, because Simon has to have his sandwich shop. That is for sure. Excellent addition. I absolutely love that they did this. Not only are they giving a little nod to a, a very, very good channel that has brought a lot of attention to the game that we all love, but they also did it in a very clever way. Uh, it was well done, well done all, all around. So definitely check out Duralius and Associates when you get to 
the Eden Center Mall. Like I said, I was going to save the best for last. I know most of you were probably saying, yeah, but that, that Duralius and Associates, the uh, nod to Neve's Gaming, that, that's got to be the best, right? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, folks. We have saved the absolute best for last, and that is... Savin's World Travel. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Whisker Biscuits and Mental Ninja 33 were nice enough to actually give me a store here in the Eden Center Mall. I'm actually absolutely blown away and honored that they, they decided that I deserved uh, my own store here in the mall. It's pretty darn cool. They are awesome, awesome people, and I'm 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 very thankful that I was included. Because there's only so many spaces, and I know there's some um, a lot of seven days content creators out there, and unfortunately. Unfortunately, not everybody got a, got a store in the mall, but that, you know, that would be impossible for them to do. So the mere fact that I was actually given my own store in uh, in the Eden Center Mall, it's humbling and it's awesome. <laughs> it's just awesome. So yes, it might not be the biggest store. It might not uh, have the most, uh, most loot inside, but it is very appropriate. A nice play on the name of the channel, Savin's World. Of course, you travel the world, Savin's World Travel, <laughs> it is perfect. It makes perfect sense and i absolutely love it so again thank you so much captain whisker biscuits and mental ninja 33 captain and ninja you guys are awesome thank you so much for including me and uh, giving me a store in your monumental crazy gigantic build the eden center mall but we're not done yet folks this is only floor four we still have the roof so let's get up to the roof and i will show you what the roof looks like first thing i had to point out with the roof is the awesome 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 nod to one of the funniest movies of all time, Monty Python's Holy Grail. Bring out your dead. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, I do want to point one more thing out. So, you see the bring out your dead. If you go around and actually count the number of blocks that they use to create this, the entire thing, and then you take a look at the wall here, you'll see how some of them are orange and some of them are regular silver. The attention to detail is crazy. If you count the number of blocks they use to make out the sign, bring out your dead, and then count the number of missing blocks, uh, the, the silver blocks here on the side, it's the exact same amount. So they actually took the time to count the amount of blocks it would take to make this sign as if a survivor or a group of survivors had to remove these panels in order to make up the giant sign. That is attention to detail, folks. Let me tell you, that is absolutely insane. And again, well done. Well done, Captain Whisker Biscuits and Mental Ninja. That is an absolutely awesome, awesome little nugget about the mall that most people probably wouldn't notice. Very, very impressive indeed. I just think that's really cool. Excellent, excellent addition to the mall. <laughs> Oh, uh, this mall is so, so great. But the roof is chock full of different stations and, and things, little tents and, and POIs and, and lots of good stuff to loot. I will caution you, however, it is also chock full of landmines and lots of dangerous, dangerous animals. Crazy amounts of dangerous animals. One more thing I wanted to point out about the roof here is there is what appears to be like a, a little landing strip here. So if you decide to make the mall your home, or decide to do uh, anything involving the mall, you actually have pretty nice access with the gyrocopter. They gave you a nice long landing strip and takeoff strip as well. Pretty darn sweet and an excellent, excellent feature uh, of the Eden, Eden Center Mall. So now I'm going to gear up, turn on the zombie spawns, and we're going to actually peek our little heads inside the mall so I can show you what you can expect with the zombie, uh, zombie jerks turned on. So let me get geared up and let's take a quick peek at the mall with the zombie spawns turned on. Here we go, folks. I've got all decked out, got my equipment all good to go, got myself some weapons, get myself some experience, and uh, we're going to actually take a look at the mall in action. Now you'll notice we're at the very front here, but there are zombie spawns outside. So we've got uh, the cheerleader hanging out over here. Listen to the music. We're getting swarmed. Come on, you zombie jerks. So we got Ron times two kicking around. And it looks like we have Roger coming to see what's going on. 
So the mall is extremely, extremely dangerous. And not just on the inside, there are zombie spawns on the outside as well. So there you go, folks. The outside is dangerous as well. There are zombie spawns all along the outside of the malls. You wanna be very, very careful. But let's go ahead and let's head inside and let's take a look at the mall proper. So we're gonna use the main entrance here. And look at the entranceway. There are zombie jerks here too. Let's use our desert vulture. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Dead zombies! Oh, we got a runner! Oh, oh, back up, buddy! And I know we've got a couple more coming this way. Oh, and we angered the bear! Oh, oh we already woke him up! Alright, let's take care of these guys and let's make our way in. So they took out the spikes here for me. But the reason I told you guys to be very careful about bats and bears is because there are bears inside of that POI. You want to be very, very careful. Ah, oh, he made his way out. Die, ah, bear. All right, we got him. <laughs> we got him a little too much. Let's take care of this guy, too. Ah, somebody snuck up on me. Damn you, skater boy. Look at them all, though, guys. And this is just the entryway. All right, are you dead? Are you dead? He dead. <laughs> oh, I love it. Sorry, Buzz. Take out the businessman. And it is like this all the way through the mall. There are zombie spawns on the court in the courtyard. There are zombie spawns in all of the stores. There are zombie spawns everywhere. So, you definitely want to come prepared when you come to the mall. Do not take it lightly. Here, let's, uh, let's duck into the uh, crack -a book here. All right, I guess they're coming to me. <laughs> no worries. Bye-bye, burning dude. Hey, Tom, how you doing? No, what, dead? There, he's dead. Oh, somebody snuck up on me. Burning dudes galore, man. <laughs> I don't think you should be able to set the burning dudes on fire. <laughs> they should be immune to fire damage. Just my opinion. All right, I think we got all, all the jerks that were inside the crack -book. But every single store is like this. All areas of the mall are extremely dangerous. They have zombie spawns everywhere. So when you come to the mall, make sure you are... Oh, we got another one. Make sure you prepare before you actually venture into the mall. Because it is awesome, there is loot galore in this place, but it is extremely, extremely dangerous. The Eden Center Mall is an absolutely amazing custom POI. It has pretty much everything you would ever need. Plus, some of the store names absolutely crack me up every single time. The Whisker Biscuits did an absolutely outstanding job when creating this mall. I would like to once again say thank you very, very much, Captain Whisker Biscuits and Mental Ninja 33 for all the hard work that you put into making this awesome POI. It is outstanding. I am going to include links to Mental Ninja 33's Twitch channel as well as the Whisker Biscuits YouTube channel in the description below. Make sure and stop by and give them a little love. Tell them thank you very, very much for creating this awesome POI. If you would like to experience this POI, I'm also going to include the download link for the Eden Center Mall. That way you can download it, install it into your version of Seven Days to Die, and spawn it into a brand new world and do some exploring. Because let me tell you folks, it is absolutely worth it. You will find new things in the Eden Center Mall every single time you go in. But again, I have to caution you, you will find a lot of goodies, but you will have to face a lot of zombie jerks. And I barely scratched the surface to the Eden Center Mall. There are dangers lurking around every single corner, but the rewards are definitely worth it. So definitely give the Eden Center Mall a look and let me know in the comments below what you folks think of this POI. I would love to hear some of your stories about exploring the mall and any thoughts or feedback as well. I hope you folks have found this video helpful and 
and or enjoyable. If you did and would like to see more, I've created a very special playlist of 7 Days to Die videos, which you can access by clicking the box in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me in Savin's World. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.